Hi everyone, George Farmer here, content creator for Tropica Aquarium Plants. And in this video, we will look at five beautiful red aquarium plants, including Philanthus fluitans, Ludwigia palustris, Rotala rotundifolia hra, Hygrophila pinnatifida, and Nymphia lotus. You can check out the full plant profile videos on these species by clicking the links in the description. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Also, let us know in the comments which is your favourite red plant. Philanthus fluitans is a stunning floating plant commonly known as red root floater due to its unique red coloration under strong enough lighting. It's found in nature growing widespread across South America. It's supplied by Tropica in 1-2 grow cups resulting in a healthy plant that is free from algae, snails, pesticides and disease. It's in Tropica's easy category so it will grow well with lower levels of light and nutrients, but to achieve more red colour, it does require more intense lighting. As with all floating plants, it can be a great addition to open-topped aquariums where the plant can be appreciated fully and any heat build-up from the lighting and aquarium can escape without damaging the plant. It does best in aquariums with lower levels of surface movement to allow the plant to spread most effectively. Due to its close position to the light and access to CO2 in the air, it does grow very quickly and can soon block the light from the plants underneath. Simply scoop off any excess plant growth and dispose of responsibly. Feed the plant regularly with Tropica Premium or Specialised Nutrition and ensure you supply enough light if you wish to get the best coloration. Ludwigia palustris is a stunning red stem plant found growing in the wild all over the world in a wide range of habitats. It's closely related to Ludwigia repens but has smaller leaves. It's supplied by Tropica in pots and is in their easy category, but to get the best colour and attractive compact growth, more intense lighting is necessary with CO2 injection. It's best planted in the background due to its eventual height and care should be taken to position it appropriately due to its high impact colour, making it a great focal point. It's a fast grower and produces side shoots and aerial roots readily. It responds well to trimming and propagating is easy by replanting the offcuts. Due to its fast growth and rapid nutrient uptake, it's ideal as a helping plant in new setups to help prevent algae. Feed the leaves regularly with either Tropica Premium or Specialised Nutrition to ensure there are no nutrient deficiencies. Ludwigia palustris is one of the easiest red stem plants suitable for most setups, but do consider stronger lighting and C2 injection if you want that really super red colour. Rotala rotundifolia hra is a beautiful stem plant that belongs to the highly variable species of Rotala rotundifolia. It's supplied in 1-2 grow cups and is in Tropica's medium category, so will require CO2 injection and strong lighting to achieve the best growth and colour. The more intense the light, the more intense the red coloration, as with many plant species that have the ability to turn red. As with Ludwigia palustris, it's best used as a background plant, planted in groups with consideration to how the colour may impact the aesthetic balance of the layout. Under strong enough lighting, it grows in a similar formation to its close relation Rotala rotundifolia green, with its attractive cascading drooping effect. It is a fast grower and responds well to frequent trimming with new side shoots being produced that create an attractive, dense, bushy appearance. The lower leaves can drop off due to lack of light, so positioning the plant behind other shorter plants or hardscape is a good idea to hide this. Feed the plant regularly again with liquid fertilisers such as Tropica Premium or Specialised Nutrition and ensure you provide it with sufficient light and CO2 injection to get the best results. Hygrophila pinnatifida is a unique plant found naturally growing in India. Tropic have been producing it since 2010 where it was introduced to Interzoo, the German pet trade show. It's a medium category plant supplied by Tropica in 1-2 grow cups and regular pots and is also available growing attached to aqua decor. When grown out of water the leaves are much larger with robust stems and when adapted to underwater growth the leaves grow much narrower. Under stronger lighting with CO2 injection the growth becomes more compact and the red coloration is enhanced. It will grow well in lower energy conditions but the leaves remain relatively large and green. It can be planted into groups as an attractive stem plant in the mid-ground or background, depending on the aquarium size. However, it is now very commonly used as an epiphyte plant attached to wood or rocks. Its red coloration in stronger lighting conditions result in a high impact effect, so consider this when planning your layout. It's a fast grower when strong lighting and CO2 are used, 
and when grown as an epiphyte, this growth can be controlled by simply trimming off any excess runners. These can be replanted, reattached or discarded of responsibly. Nymphia lotus originates from West Africa and Madagascar where it is found growing in lakes or natural ponds. This beautiful tropical lily species is the most popular in the hobby and is commonly known as red tiger lotus lily. Nymphia lotus is in Tropica's medium category and is supplied as a bulb in a pot. It needs moderate to strong lighting to get the best results with plenty of free space surrounding it. A nutrient rich substrate is considered essential with Tropica nutrition capsules being useful to provide extra nutrients if required. It is recommended as a solitary plant for large aquariums due to its large leaves and overall eventual size. It can be a fast grower in appropriate conditions and will generate new leaves quickly. It often sends leaves straight to the water surface and these should be trimmed back in order to maintain your desired form and avoid excess shading from any floating leaves that do reach the surface. To ensure it doesn't run out of nutrients, it's a great idea to target feed the bulb with Tropico Nutrition Capsules. So there we have five of our beautiful red plants. Let us know which is your favourite and what red plants do you have in your aquariums? Take care. Bye bye.